Well, on today's debate is Alistair from Hasman Hotel versus Kane from Supernatural, and this is going to be equal stats. So, uh, Alistair, do you want to start off with the win con, or want me to start off? Uh, I'll start off. So, basically, what I'm going to start off with is... Alistair is going to do... Oh, I'm going to start off with the win con of Alistair summoning his, like, shadow creatures to, who, like, rush a cane and distract him. And while they're doing that, he's going to snap his fingers and, you know, open up the portal in the ground that, you know, he's famous for. And, you know, the hentai moss is going to come and take Kane down. Okay, Again. so... Oh, my. What exactly, um, like, are they going to do? Are they, like, just going to try to overwhelm Kane? All right, so. Like, what are they going to try to do? Are they going to, like, try to, like, kill him or overwhelm him? Like, what? Well, well the shadow creatures, for the most part, they're going to they're gonna be, for the main part, or like distractions because the reason I say this is because like we don't fully know if they can like interact with like people. They more than likely can because like you see like you see them actually like holding up ob like physical objects and stuff and and like so but we don't have a real quantification for how strong they are, so I'm just gonna say they're a distraction while Al snaps. And I'll give you the timestamp so. for. All right, yeah, like, I was about to ask for that. Um. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna. For the shadow creatures appearing, that's uh, seven minutes, six seconds. I'll watch that. And it's in the same video, so I'll just give you the second timestamp uh, after. Seven that. minutes, six seconds. Okay. Seven minutes, six seconds. Seven minutes. YouTube's glitching. Hold on. Uh. And for the and for you know the portal creation thing that is going to be seven minutes fifty two seconds. There, both timestamps are right there if you want to see it. Something to point out for the for when he has the portal out, if you kind of pay attention to the background, and while the like you know, hentai monster is like around the ship, you can see like the shadows flying around anyway, so. Oh, it's possible that this is in character for him, but since we like already said this was like out of character, it doesn't really like matter. I just wanted to point that out. Fucking hell, I think I died. Hello, can you hear me? Oh, uh, I didn't hear what you said before. Uh, can you yeah, say it again? I, I fucking, yeah, I fucking died, sorry. So if I'm <laughs> okay. correct, they're, they're like... 
the the black creatures with like the purple eyes. What? Oh, there's a debate. There's oh. a debate, Kira. I just came. My bad. I just came in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. We get it. Hello, Alistair. Yep, I'm here. I'm just yeah. Um, <laughs> wait, did you hear what I said? Yeah, I was asking yes. if like the creatures uh, wait, that what? he summons are like those like purple-eyed creatures. Uh, yeah, the black purple-eyed creatures. Those are like his yeah. shadow creatures. Okay. So he summoned. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me count how many he summoned. So we summoned about like five or six of them, okay. And then you wanted me to go to seven fifty two, correct? Yep. That's for okay. the inside thing. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, sure, that's fine. Um alright, I'm just gonna argue you that King is gonna like teleport behind you. Like, when he sees that you're, like, summoning these, like, monsters and crap. And, like, he's just gonna, like, stab you with the first blade. And I'll get that. Or just... Wait, hello? Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, did you hear what I said? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll get that. Alright. Uh, hold on, give me a sec. I'm getting, like, the timestamp for this. Go to, like, one minute. Yeah, hold on. So, yeah, go to, like, one minute and watch up until, like, 121. Alright. Because, like, you can see that, like, Stan is, like, trying to, like, close the door. Make sure Kane doesn't get in. And then, like, Kane kind of just, like, teleports inside. Mm. And, like, um, with that, I'm just going to argue that, like, he's just going to, like, stab Alistair with the first blade. And I can even, like, um, explain what the first blade can do, if you want me to. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, the first blade, it's pretty much, like, capable... Of pretty much like durability nagging people on like a spiritual level, and it even has like a few layers of that stuff. And I'll get that. All right, so, um, and again, like before this debate, I did specify, you know, I was like using Kane when he had like the mark of Kane and like the first blade. So, like, the first blade is something he would have. So, uh, we saw when like Dean had the first blade. He was able to like kill this demon named um, Abaddon, and it was stated that like um, they would need that weapon to kill Abaddon, which would like imply that like demon blades or like angel blades wouldn't like work on her, and like those two weapons can also like neg uh, spiritual beings, and like um, I'll get like. This. Mm, all right. And as it was, it was even like stated that like it was like the weapon, like the archangels needed to kill uh, the nun pal, which like Abaddon is. And, like, I'll get, like, the Angel Blade and Demon Blade scans. Uh, alright. Oh, and, like, the first two, like, clips, um, like, it's, like, okay, not the first two, it's, like, um... The clip, the two clips I posted after the first one, like, uh, everything just happens at, like, the beginning of the video. And then, like, the next three, I gave, like, timestamps for all of them. All right.
So yeah, I'm pretty much just um oh wait, are you like done watching the clips? Cause I kinda wanna like say something if you're still watching them. Uh I just got done watching the second clip. I'm still looking at the other three. Okay, sure. And I give timestamps for all of them. Um, I don't see them bitches posted anywhere. Uh Wait, the the Angel Blade scans? For, for like the first I don't know you see the one where all they're like stacked together like these ones it doesn't seem what there's like time stamps like hold on okay or um, like is the uh, 57 second one like okay per, you know what okay first, like um like that's don't worry weird. about like the first clip stacked onto that because that's just to show that like you know like Cassio like the angel, like you know like pretty much like can one shot like demons, but like the next dudes were like the ones that matter because like the second one shows that like um demon blades don't do crap to him, and then like the next one is to show that like um the angel blade can like kill angels, therefore making it above the demon blade. Okay, so, oh, what? Oh, wait, never mind. I was about to ask, like, what it makes, like, you say that the, like, killing an angel is above killing a demon, but I, but I realized, but I remembered, you know, angel. Oh, boy. Maybe demon blade or. Okay. Uh, let me know when you're done watching the clips. All right. Hmm. All right, and I'm done. All right. Um. So, um. Any questions? Um. All right. So. Just to recap from what I'm understanding, so from the final scan that I saw, you know, that was showing that the first blade can affect Castiel. Castiel, who no, I believe is no, the okay, angel. no, I was talking, okay, no, 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 this is what I was saying. I was saying that the first blade can kill this demon named Abaddon, and it was stated that they would need the first blade to kill Abaddon, which is implying that an angel blade or a demon blade wouldn't like work on her. So um so that would make the first blade above the angel blade and the angel blade above the demon blade. Alright. So I want um uh just to like uh, clarify, like, the gaps between the layers are, like, one-shot, like, gaps, like, a 7.5 times difference, because, like, the first blade was able to one-shot Abaddon, and, like, angel blades can one-shot angels, and, like, demon blades can, like, pretty much one-shot demons. Hmm. And if right. you want, I could just put that into, like, regular, like, unquantifiable layers. So, basically, you're saying that the first blade would have, like, three layers of, like, soul destruction? Yeah, and each layer being, like, the gap between each layer being, like, a one-shot gap. Okay. Um... I have, like, the evidence you showed, that's all right, but I'm just going to say that, that Al is going to know that you're behind him, and not only is he going to know that you're behind him, like, like, either, like, his personal shadow is going to, uh, is going to react, and, 
point before you can stab Al, or, or Al is just gonna, gonna outright teleport you into the portal. You can, and I'll show you the scans, and I'll give okay. you the timestamps for like Al Shadow being like able to act autonomously and. Well, okay, so for Al's shadow to be able to act like autonomously, like different than him, and like it's literally in the first like three seconds, like you see Alistair like make an expression, and the shadow is like completely acting different, like he has another expression. And if you see. If you go to uh what I'm trying to look for the part where he's really sneezing like this. And at like seven minutes and twenty six seconds, you see like like Al's like a shadow that is like a perf that's like Al. You see him like, like standing next to him. And so, oh well, yeah, Al's shadow can also act like autonomously. So I'll just say that Al's shadow creature is gonna like Al's shadow is probably going to. He'll, like, react to you, either that, or he'll, he'll just teleport you into the portal outright. Like, he'll he'll probably teleport you into the portal either way, but it, I'm just saying that, like, Al Shadow will probably do, do so as well. And I'll get the... And I'll try to show scans for the teleportation thing, because... It's not only does like Al summon uh, Nifty and Husker, like he also oh right before this, like I want I'm gonna ask, do you think that to be able to teleport somebody, you would more than likely have to know their Location and then, like, well, like the location you want to like teleport to. No, you have to know. Like, do you think you'd have to also know like their location if you're teleporting somebody? You have to know where they are. Would you agree um, to that? Wait, why? Hold on. What? What? Wait, why would I need to like? know their location, why not just my own location? Like, you more than like... I'm asking that because if you... who like... Like, I guess I'm asking... I'm saying this because, like, Al was also able to teleport, like, at least with Husker, you know, the the cat one, and he was able to teleport not only him, but, like, part of his, like, part of the surrounding area around him, like, his gambling hall, so he, so, and he was able to do, and he didn't have to do that with Nifty, he literally kind of just summoned her, so, it's possible that he knows it's more than likely that he knows he can also like know the location of of a person and like and teleport them which is which if you do like agree to that then that would give Alistair like a form of I don't know if I want to say if clairvoyance Per se, but like he'll he doesn't have to see you to know where you are. But like, all right, 
Wait, hello? I'm here. Okay, so Did I cut out during any with of that? the whole um no nah, uh so like with the whole like uh teleportation thing, are you like arguing that like Alistair is just gonna know that I'm there? Like yeah, but I do but probably won't it didn't I guess that might not matter because it's like Either wait, is this a shotgun? I want to just clarify this. I'm I'm trying to make sure I'm not shotgunning you, but because I mean no, it's not. I don't think you're like shotgunning, but um, so like, are you trying to say like even if I teleport behind you, Alice is gonna know that I'm there? Like I'm saying that if you teleport behind me, then like if you agree that. He would have to know, like, Husker's location to be able to teleport him and the surrounding portions of his location, seeing as he can also do so, like, individually. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. If I want to teleport, why wouldn't I just need to know the location where I want to teleport? I'm not why do saying I need to know? that he's teleporting. He's teleporting someone else. And oh, I'm wait. saying that he can do... I'm saying that he can do so... He can teleport you both individually, like he did with Nifty in the scene prior, or he can teleport you and your surrounding area, like he did with Husker. And I'm asking for the second one if you would agree that that would also mean that he would have to know like his location to only like teleport a certain like amount of part of his location. Because if you because if you do agree, then I'll just say that he knows where you're at. And if and he'll will teleport you into the portal, or if he doesn't, then his shadow creature will just like his personal shadow will will like attack, will like charge at you and attack you, and then he'll turn around and and teleport you anyway. Okay, so are you trying to argue some like teleportation BFR? Uh, basically, it's like not really BFR, but like, like he'll teleport. Oh, like are you, you just in, like like I'm saying that he'll teleport you like into the portal that he made. Well, like and, where that you like know, hentai monster, monster comes out. Come. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. I'm saying that he'll teleport you into that. Yeah. Okay, but like, uh, okay. Well, first, could you like show a scan of that? Oh, it's in the same video, but I'll, uh, but I'll give different times. Because, like, um, like, as soon as I teleport behind you, I'm just gonna, like, dab you. It's just, it's not like I'm gonna, like, give you any time to teleport me. Like, I'm pretty much just gonna, like, yeah, as soon as I teleport behind you, I'm just gonna stab you with a blade. Alright, so, for the first, um... I'm um, trying to give the timestamps for like his shadow being able to be like autonomous. Well, kind of at the start, uh, I didn't even mean to send that because it's not the only timestamp. Um, yeah. All right, that's for showing that his shadow can act on its own, and Thank you. 
All right. And those are the timestamps. It's the same video that I posted at first. So just. Oh, he's muted. Y'all still here or something? Yeah, we're we're still here. Yes. But, uh, uh, Swick is just like re like watching the video at the timestamps. Totally. Yeah, I just got done watching the video. It's kind of like, um, so with the freaking what's it called? Um, what was I gonna say? It's like, yeah, and, like his shadow can like. Uh, make like his own like expressions but like can it like physically do like anything else besides just like make its own expressions like because like that's like what I've, what I've seen like we've never seen like that shadow really do anything else well that's what 726 is for because like that because when he waved his like staff and, and that's and that shadow where we just like came up behind him. That was like that was technically his okay. shadow. Oh, okay. you saw us yeah, I know like, what you're talking about. Okay, yeah, it's like he has to like kind of like scrape this thing on the ground, or like has to do some like weird like movement to like um like summon the shadows or like whatever he does. But like what I'm saying is that right there, I'm gonna teleport behind you, and then it's GG. It's like I'm not gonna like give you like. Pretty much, it's like his teleportation is like pretty instant. It's like I don't know if you saw the clip, but like he went from like freaking like banging on a door to like pretty much being inside the room and pretty much an instant. So like his teleportation is pretty instant. And like right there, I'm just gonna like stab you with the first blade. I'm not even gonna like give you any time to even like bring out like your shadows. Mm. Well, I guess. So, like, yeah, that, well, I'm I guess still, even oh, if, sorry. Well, if that's the case, then like I'm just gonna, gonna argue like the second point that I mentioned, which is just like I'm just gonna oh. like since I'm like gonna know where, where you are, I'm just gonna teleport you like into the portal. And okay, but hold on, if he if he what do you think is gonna slam down on you? If hold on. If what he's going to do is, like, summon, like, the creatures, then, like, teleport me, like, 
unless if he can do that, like, instantly, because you pretty much said, like, yeah, first, he's going to, like, summon, like, um, those creatures, and then he's going to summon, like, the hentai monster. It's like, I'm already going to be behind you, and I've basically already stabbed you with the first blade. Well, with that, I just and like, say, like, hold up, and like, <laughs> um, you said he can like teleport shit away, right? Yeah. How far can he like teleport it away? Because like, if he can't even like teleport it outside the battlefield, that's not really gonna do anything. Well, it's it's at least across the space of like. Like, you know, the space between, like, buildings and shit is, like... Because the casino that Husker was in was... is like... We don't know exactly how far away it was. But it wasn't, like... But since we don't know the exact layout of... Uh, yeah, because, like... Pride City, we don't know exactly how far... Yeah, because, like, if you like, can't, like, even... If you can't, like, even quantify, like, how far it would be, I would just say, like, you, like, teleporting me away would be useless, because, like, I would just be able to teleport back. So, like, I would just say it's, like, um, with, like, your whole, like, shadow creatures, he has to do, like, this weird movement to even, like, get them to do, like, other things. And, like... Again, I've proven that Kane's teleportation is pretty instant. So, like, he's just going to be right there, and, like, you're going to be already dead, pretty much. It's like, you're you're pretty much going to be dead before you even know it. I guess for the point of just, like, that, I'll say, like, for... Like, you said that as soon as he realized that I was, uh, like, as soon as he realized that I was, like, summoning, being, like, shadow creatures, right? Well, that he would teleport as soon as he realized it. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah, so, as soon as he sees, like, these weird, like, shadow creatures coming out of nowhere, he's gonna teleport behind you, then stab you with the first blade, and he can pretty much do that like, almost within an instant. It's pretty much, like, under a second, basically. Like, like well, I'm just gonna argue that with the clock, with the shadow creatures, that they, they would come out before you, like, they come out before you could like even really teleport, and since they can okay. like act on their own, they you would more than likely just okay. From what you've like, shown, it's like Alistair snaps his fingers, then like these creatures come out. So right there, that's not instant. I've shown that like Kane's teleportation is instant. But you instant. have to realize uh, what's going on before, or like you teleport. So. But before you realize what's going on, they're gonna, gonna swarm you. That's that's the wait. Hold on. Whole point of the hold argument. on. Okay, I would just argue that if he has to snap his fingers for these creatures to come out, and I notice that they won't even like get the time to even like swarm me because, like, as soon as they're there, I'm gonna see that, and because of my instant teleportation, I'm just gonna like teleport behind you, and like pretty much stab you with the first blade and for you to even know that I'm gonna teleport behind you you have to like do this movement thing to even like get your shadows to like interact with things on their own so like you pretty much like I'm pretty much gonna be able to like stab you with the first blade and like pretty much under a second either way Hmm. 
Uh, I guess I'll just argue with Alistair's own teleportation. Well, what is, what is his own, like, teleportation going to, like, help you with? Just avoid the blade. Yeah. Like, okay. Let me give you the timestamp of, like, where... Is, like, his teleportation, like, instant? Uh, yeah, hold on, just... Four... Alright, just it's the same video, one minute five seconds. One minute five seconds, alright. All right. So I'm just gonna argue that he's gonna teleport behind you, grab, grab your neck, and then death manip you with his skin, just by putting his hand on you. And let me get the death manip skin. Okay, so I just like watch. Hold on, is it like from like? Hold on. Um. Hold on. So. Is like the clip from like one minute to like one o five, because like I also like see him like teleport behind these other people. Or, like, do I have to watch past one o five? Like, oh, you watched one minute to one o five? No, it's like I watched like one minute to one minute and five seconds, because like he did like teleport like behind. These other people, or do I have to like watch past 105? It it starts at like it starts at like the timestamp I gave you. It starts at 105, and then and it stops at oh, like God. 106 to. And as you see in the scan, that okay, posted, hold on. What? Okay, it's like, I just, like, watch the thing. His teleportation is, like, it's not instant. Because, like, from, like, one minute to, like, 105, he did, like, um, I'm pretty sure, like, that's when he actually, like, teleported. And, like, between that time, that's pretty much, like, four seconds right there. So, like, that's nowhere near, like, instant. It's, like, and it's, like, kind of, like, his, uh, like, okay, okay, shadow-looking okay. Maybe, maybe you were, behind. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope. All right. So, I don't know how you're just misinterpreting this. I'm sorry if I'm getting a little perturbed, but it starts at 105. It's not one minute. It starts at 105. So, by 105, he's still in front of them. By 106, he is right behind them. That is, that's oh, what I've on. been saying. It's not, oh, don't on. start one minute. It, it starts at 105. And then it ends at 106 to maybe 107 if you squint at it. But... <sighs> Sorry, just. Oof. For fuck's sake. Okay, so. Hold on. Because at one minute, like, that's where, like,. Charlie starts talking. He doesn't start teleporting until like like one oh five. And as you see, like he can teleport into a specific okay. position. So I'll just say that I teleport in the specific position of me with my hand around your neck. And uh, hold on, he doesn't start teleporting at like one minute and five, though. He starts at like one minute and then ends up there at like one minute five or like one minute six. Uh, uh, how I don't understand. Like, okay, wait, hold on, watch, watch from like one minute to like one minute and like six because, like, that's like where he like 
starts like teleporting. Okay, no, no. All right. So at one minute, he his staff starts talking. He puts the staff down, and Charlie starts talking. She literally says, "Um, you want to help with?" And then at one o five, he appears behind them, and then and the dust comes off. And you see, they're like, it all spook and shiz. So, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, again, where where is this, it starts at one minute coming from? Like, oh, um, uh, hold on. Okay, so like, he fully teleports to like one minute six and like one minute. All right. Um, wait, what's this like second scan for? Uh, that was for the uh, like death minute part because I argued that he'd also like since as you see he was able to teleport or with his hands extended to both of them so I'm just going to argue Thank you. He's gonna teleport in the position of his hand is, hand is like on your neck, and he's gonna death manipulate you. Okay, so what's it called? So are you trying to argue he's gonna teleport behind me instead? Mm-hmm. Okay, so this death manip you have here, it's like it only seems to like work on plants. It's like it's only. Like, it's like he didn't try it on people. It just worked on, like, plants. A plant and, is like, a living thing, so I don't know how it wouldn't work on people. Like, Yeah, but, it, like... It's still... Like, if it's still a living thing, that means he has death minute, period. Okay, hold on. I don't know if yeah, that's... Like, okay, that's, that's fine if you want to say... That's fine if you want to say he has, like, death minute, but plants, like, they don't have as strong as, like, what's it called? Like, a life as, like humans would per se it's like plants like can you prove that they yeah sure it's like and also to like kind of also somewhat counteract this you see these two like right afterwards these two like demons are right behind him and Alice is like oh hey hey, they're literally scared for their life after seeing him do that and I'll give you the Actually, scan no, no. okay whatever whatever that's fine I'll just find whatever whatever um I, I have a blatant counter to death manip anyway um so pretty much Kane um uh originally had like the mark of Kane you know again I said I was using Kane when he had the mark of Kane in first blade and then, like, we saw, like, he passed the mark to, like, Dean, and then uh, Dean with the mark, it's like, the it was stated that, like, um, like, Death himself stated that, like, he wouldn't be able to, like, kill him. I'll get that. Mm-hmm. And again, um, all these videos have timestamps. The wrong scan zone, but okay. Oh shit! Okay, my bad. Yeah, it's all right. It. I'll just. Like, the mark pretty much gives him, like, type 5 and type 8 immortality. Hmm. Well, I can have a bypass for type 5, but I don't know about type 8. Because with yeah, type I mean, 5... Like, it's even, like, the concept the of, like, death. Like, death itself is saying that, like, nothing, like, within the verse would really be able to kill him. Which would like include like death himself. 
And I'm pretty sure later in the clip he says, like, he wouldn't be able to kill Dean as long as, like, he has the mark. Alright, in which clip does he say that? Um, it's, like, the first one. Alright. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty much... Oh, wait, okay, I should say something right now. I'll wait until you're done watching the clips. Uh, I'm still watching the clip. I'll, All right, I'll yeah, I'll wait. Done. Yeah, so pretty much I would just say, like, if Alistair tries to, like, death hack him, um, like, it wouldn't work on him, and, like, Kane would just turn around and then stab him with the blade. Hello? Oh, wait, uh, you're probably still watching the clips. Yeah, still watching. So I'm watching the Darkness Explain one. Like, is the old man death? Just just to ask, because I've never seen Supernatural. Yeah, like, the, the old dude speaking is death. Okay. Hmm, all right. Okay, so any questions? Uh... All right, what? Which one is the one that gives them type 8, or was that just the Darkness Explained video? Um, okay, it's like the first clip, like it pretty much says is that like, um, like nothing within like the verse would really be able to like, uh, kill him. And like, mm -hmm. it pretty much says like the mark is like linked to the darkness. So like, that's like, um, part of proving that it's type A, but like, um, the second clip, like Dean says that like, yeah, like the, the mark on my arm means that, like, I can't die, and, like, even if you do kill me, I'm just gonna come back and, like, kill you all. Mm, Alright. Mm, watching the second clip now. Hmm. All right. Um, the next two clips are just like more evidence for him, like having like um type eight to like 
that degree, but like if like it's not like necessarily like that important to like countering the death hacks, it's just really more consistency. Yeah, okay. Um I guess for that I Hmm. I guess for this, I'll say. Yep. Hmm. All right. So I guess I'll say that it, he can also like it, teleport objects away as well as, and I'll like the Husker. Part of the scene, I'll give you another like timestamp. You see, on. like there's money. Wait, didn't you like on. drop? Wait, didn't you drop the whole point of like teleporting objects away? Because like I'm pretty sure, like I was using that to like say that he can teleport people and objects to know his location. I never made the point that he would teleport the blade away. Oh, because, like, in that clip, he did show, like, he was just, like, teleporting the object away. Okay. Um, okay. sure, go ahead. All right. So, I'm going to try to find the timestamp for it, but... During... When he teleports Husker, right, he... All right, and yeah. like I, I would so, just still argue that like just teleport. Um, okay, if you're gonna argue like teleportation, I would still argue that like my teleportation would be faster than yours. And this isn't me teleporting you away. So you like can you teleport objects? Is what I'm asking. Like because you because you teleport because you were able to teleport yourself, but like. And, like, of course, you have, like, the object with you. But, like, yeah, are you able to specifically teleport the object objects with me? back to you? Like, that's... Um, okay, and, and wait, wait, hold on. Why would teleporting objects really, like, mean anything, really? Like... Okay, because... Like, are you trying to, like, teleport the blade away from me? Yes, that's what I said. Um... Okay... <laughs> Um, to just show the scan of him, like, teleporting, like, an object. Uh, same video, uh, at that timestamp, I believe. I'll go back and look, to see if that's the right timestamp. But, like, if you see, he, like, like, you oh, see, yeah, like, there's okay. specifically, like, money on the table. And, uh, oh, wait, no, it's the wrong stamp then. Uh. Sorry, wrong uh, timestamp. Uh, all right, so when he teleported Husker, like there was like money on the table, right? And then uh -huh. Husker points uh, is like references back to it, like, "Bro, I was about to win the whole pot. Why did you teleport me?" And he and you see like it radio fizzles away. So oh yeah, because he's... like that was like the one where I, that that I was like referring to. Like, didn't you like drop that? I never specifically like, made the argument of teleporting the blade away. I never. I said. Yeah, but I like, used that okay, as evidence on. to say that. I used. Well, that part of the scene wasn't re really relevant. I just. Well, it was still relevant, but that specific part of him. of the money teleporting away was not uh, relevant to the point that I made specifically, which Wait, was. That weren't he you was like. Going to weren't teleport. you like arguing? Weren't you, like, arguing you were going to, like, teleport me away or something? Yeah, I argued you would, I would teleport you away. I never specifically said that I would teleport or specifically the blade. I'm saying that with that part of evidence, I can also teleport specific objects away without teleporting a person surrounded by the object. 
Okay, that's but you're still I mean. teleporting something away. That's the thing in like both scenarios. Yeah, yeah and like I'm saying that like I'm te- like I'm saying that if I can't teleport you away, then I'm going to teleport the specific object that you're trying to use to kill me to a different location. Hey, well, I'm sorry if I'm talking is... like you're slow or whatever, but like okay, um, um it, okay. it comes out sometimes. Toxic. Okay, so what's it called? Um, so you're just gonna like uh teleport the blade, but like if I remember, you couldn't like quantify how far he would teleport it. It would be at least the space between two buildings, because okay, um. I would just argue that, like, Kane would just, like, teleport to, like, that place to, like, get the blade back. And, like, um, wait, like, how far, like, exactly would, like, the space between be? Because, like, I, I don't think I would necessarily need to argue who would just teleport to the blade. Because, like, because, like, okay, I would just argue, actually, like, teleporting the, like, if you're trying to, like, well, if it's still going to be within the battlefield, it's like we're just going to be fighting in, like, an open area because, like, you know, standard battle assumptions. But, like, if you're just going to, like, teleport the blade away, I would, like, see where it is if it's, like, within the battlefield and just teleport to the blade and get it. But, like, um, I, I would also, like, like to ask that, like, how, like, far, like, the space between the buildings would be. Hmm. All right, so well, I'm gonna. All right, so basically, Pride City is based on is like heavily impl- is like heavily inspired by Chicago because of you know if you like see the skyline and the you know high crime rate because you know hell. Um, so, well, I'm gonna get a scan of like the standard building spacing for for the Chicago area. So that'll be at the very least what it is, because we don't know how far away the hotel was from the the uh, casino that Husker was at. So, well, I'll just okay. try to get that. Okay, if you can't even, like, really quantify, like, how far you would even be able to, like, teleport it, I would just say that, like, it's not going to be far away from me at all, and I could just, like, telekinetically bring it back to me. And, like, you You saw... Like... Alright, so... Because, like, hold on. Because, like, you, you never really quantified, like, how far it would really be. It's, like, so I would just say the the blade wouldn't even, like, be far from me at all. And, like, I would just telekinetically bring it back to me. And, like, this was shown in one of the clips I posted earlier. Um, It was in, like, all right, was it in the same clip? Let me make sure. Hmm. Um, yeah, it was, like, uh, within the same, let's hold on. Okay, yeah. If you go to two twenty six in um the like the very second clip I posted, you can 
was able to like uh telekinetically bring the blade to him. The second clip you posted, so that's the uh It's so like we're it's Dean when it's when Abaddon. Yeah. Yeah, two twenty six. Okay. What's the topic? Axton commentary. Horny? Oh, hey. Bro, stop talking. Why? There's a debate going on. Why? We just tell them the topic it's real quick. Hollister versus Kane. <laughs> All right. Dare me. You see how I made you say that? Stop. Oh, shut up already. <laughs> Bro, this is being recorded. Please, just come on. Okay, so I see Dean doing that. So is that like an inherent ability of the blade, or is that just Dean's powers? Because that's not Kane doing it. Okay, Dean did it because he had the mark of Kane. Like, Dean, Dean in base doesn't have fucking telekinesis. Can you show, like, like, the mark of Cain apparently gives him telekinesis, like, that? Yeah, it's in the clip. Dean only brought it back to him because he had the mark. But if you want... May maybe maybe I'm not watching far enough into it, because I only saw, like, at the part where he just grabbed, he, like, brought the blade back. All right, yeah, because, yeah. like, this was, like, way after Dean got the mark. So, like, it would make sense if, like, the it's mark season, was linked to the blade. Season 9. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, it's, like, Dean, I'm pretty sure, like, um, when Dean got the mark, that was, like, earlier into, like, okay. season 9. Yeah, and, like, I, when I he see, killed yeah, Abaddon. The, like, the mark was, is like, glowing on him, I see. Where... Yeah. So, like, yeah, that that's Yeah, it is linked to the mark. All right. So, I'm just going to say he like with that it would take that it would take like a specific enough kind of like it would take him like a lot of focus to bring the boy need back to him, and okay. I'm just gonna hold on, say... Hold on, hold on. Wait. Let me stop you right there. Okay, it only took him that amount of focus, because like, Abaddon was using her telekinesis to restrain Dean, and like, Dean isn't like, as strong as Kane is, so like, that's why he like, needed a lot of focus. He was not only being restrained by someone telekinetically, which like, kind of like, um prevented him from like moving and like um which is why like he required a lot of focus because like he was pretty much like basically immobilized right there and like dean was like nowhere near as strong as kane mm. it's like um, in one of their fights, Kane even, like, without the mark or the first blade, was literally, like, bullying Mark of Kane Dean. And, like, Kane wasn't really even trying either. It's like he even, like, let Dean, like, get the first hit in. But, like, uh, even then he still ahead. bullied him. Yeah, sure. It's like Dean didn't kill Kane until, like, he off-guarded Kane. And remember, Dean, not Dean, Kane only died because he didn't have the mark. It was Dean who had it. Oh, 
me make sure I'm posting the right scans on this time. <sighs> it's all right. That was a really good debate, by the way. I just noticed. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Teleport to where the fight starts. Yeah, it's like the fight like happens at like the beginning of the clip. Mm hmm. Okay. So Oh, that. Yeah, he was pretty much like bullying Dean in both. All right, yeah. All right, so for that, it seems like he's just more, or like, skilled than Dean is. Like, no, Dean literally, like, he literally let Dean punch him multiple times. It did nothing. It's like, yeah, skill, he was, like, using skill against Dean, but, like, physically, he also is way stronger than Dean, and he can also, like, one-shot other people who should be stronger than Dean, like, cast. Mm -hmm. All right. Well. All right, so I'll, I'll say, yeah, he is stronger than Dean. I won't oppose to that. Um, I guess I'm just going to say, like, while you're... And bring the blade back. I'm gonna use my, you know, reality warp lightning, and in, and either reality warp the blade, eat into where like it's broken or whatever, or I'm just gonna reality warp you into where like, like you're immobile. And same video at this timestamp, you know, he can. Summons lightning and it changes the happy hotel sign to has been hotel. Okay, if we're gonna try to like immobilize him, that's not really gonna work because we saw like Dean was like being immobilized by like Abaddon, but he still like resisted it. Yeah. And that like was Kane... via like I'm sorry about that. That was via t you know, telekinesis. That's a different thing than like just. Warping reality entirely, entirely to like make it get yes, to where or, you're okay. physically unable to move and use stuff. Okay, but here's the thing: that's because like he was still like yeah, it was via telekinesis, but like he was still being like immobilized by the like telekinesis, and if he wasn't like strong enough, he wouldn't have even been able to like do anything to it. So like would like. Alistair, like, even, like, be able to, like, immobilize me? Like, I don't know if you're real, yeah, no, like, the lightning is going to warp your body, and 
to where you cannot uh, physically do anything to me. Yes, you probably might be able to use telekinesis on, for the blade, but I could just argue that I'll just send a second one to stop the blade. Or I could just do that okay. to the blade first. So you yeah. said he has to do this lightning strike, right? Yeah. And... Actually, wait, before I say something, um, uh, could you just, like, post the scan? Timestamp is sent. Same video. A lot. Okay. I guess this is kind of the benefit okay. yet downfall of only having one episode in the series. <laughs> Cause, like, oh, hold on, he only has one episode? What the fuck? Yes. And he, he has all that much scaling out of one episode. It's not that much, honestly. It's just he has a lot yeah, of abilities. That's a lot. A22, okay. Yeah, it's like at the end. I would post the full episode, but like, it's a. But like, it's at a really short timestamp and it's hard to pinpoint it with fingers, so you know. I just got this, like, shorter episode. Well, not shorter episode, shorter can video with just all of his scenes in it. Okay. So, like, okay, is this, like, when he was doing this whole, I wouldn't say that's, like, reality warping. I would just say that's more, like, um, like, matter manip, because, like, he just changed, like, the freaking, like, hotel sign to, like, something else. So, like, that just sounds more like transmutation, matter manip, rather than, like, reality warping. Mm. Alright, well, this, I guess it would still apply, but, like, it, it's just replace reality warping with well, matter okay. manip. Like, the Wait, would still this even be, it. like, hold on, would it... Was this you? Okay, hold on. Wait, wait. Was it even like Alistair who like caused that lightning strike? Mm-hmm. Because like, okay. not only do you see that it's like red, he already like as soon as it's like because like if you see like a little bit before it, like a few seconds before it, he's like, he does the start some real changes here. The game is set. Oh, and okay. Then he's now, right. like he says now, and then the lightning comes. He's like. Alright, yeah, so if, like, the lightning has to, like, come down and strike me, that's obviously gonna, like, uh, take a few seconds, because, you know, like, lightning, it's not, like, it doesn't instantly strike the ground. Yeah, and, like, lightning does have a set speed, but, like, yeah. the thing is, this is, as you saw, the lightning was, like, red, so it's possible that, like, he, like, his lightning is faster than normal lightning. But okay. I guess I don't know. I mean, why wait, wait. Really yeah, like, just because like it's because, his lightning, like, that's, it, it wouldn't inherently be faster. So like, I would just argue that like it Kane would just be able to like react to the lightning and then just teleport behind Alistair and then like you know dab him with the blade. Mm. Mm. All right. So I guess if you're gonna uh, react to the lightning, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just argue that I'm gonna. When you teleport behind me, then, like, I would also teleport behind you, and then when you turn around... Okay, I'd but the thing is... Fear hacks. The thing is... Okay, but the thing is that would you even know that I'd be, like, teleported behind you? This was the entire argument of the... of the Husker scene. Yeah, like, yeah you, you said that he would know via, like, uh, the shadow people and stuff, but, like, that, I That was literally... one of the... Uh, that was if you didn't agree that, that, like, because he's able to also, to not only teleport individual, but also teleport or individual and part of, like, the, like, thing, like, like part of, of where he is, he would, that he would know, like, what, where he, like, it's like he had, he's able to know, like, where people are and teleport them, so... Okay, will that teleportation be, like, instant? I was like, yeah, and I, like... Okay, and... Wait, hold on. Wouldn't the ice... Like, this is different, like, the, the teleportation I was talking about, what, like, I just use 
that part to say like, okay, Alistair can know where people are and can know where people are without necessarily directly seeing you. And in a different part of my art, in a different part, uh, at at one oh five, not one, not one like, specifically, I'm one minute sure. five seconds. That w- he will tell it like, behind you. I don't think we ever like finished that point. We kind of like sidetracked to like a different point, if I remember correctly. So like, um, yeah, you like you didn't like you like, like dropped the. Oh, was it instant or not? And it, and you went straight to like having like type five and eight immortality. So. Okay, no, I okay. I only brought up the type five and type eight because you brought up death manip. And we we, we kind of, yeah we just got yeah, like sidetracked. That was why we, we stopped. Yeah, I never inherently like dropped it, but anyway, um, what timestamp was it? Um. Oh, for the fear hacks or for like him being able to tell? No, not the fucking. The yeah, the teleportation. Oh, but Al being able to teleport, it was a minute. It's five. like no, it's like whether okay, one minute five. Okay, well, well that's it's like no, no, not not the freaking knowing if I would be behind te- him. Oh, him being able to teleport himself. That's no, not is. Alistair being able to teleport himself. Him like knowing if I'd be able to teleport behind him. All right, that w- that was the Husker scene at like five. At five thirty nine, and if you want, I can see the whole like, and I guess to further prove it, I guess we can can say like five oh eight because to prove like he can do both individually and help and transform and and like the surrounding stuff with him. Wait, hold on. Is it that scene where he like teleported the money? Uh, it's like it's like ten seconds before that scene. Well, I mean that's yeah. You said five thirty nine. You said five thirty nine, correct? Yeah, like in like ten seconds after that, he teleports the money. Like that's part of the scene, but it's like the main thing to focus on with is like the fact that he teleport. Husker from like he teleported Husker and like a good good amount of stuff from the gambling hall that he was at to the to the hotel and like phased it in with the oh like ho and phased it in with the hotel to like change the layout of it. it so Hmm. Okay, I watched like, like a whole, like I, like, a minute past the timestamp, and it was literally like nothing really saying that he would know that I would be behind him. Like, the only thing he does is just teleport the money away. Like, okay, so I... The reason why I say that he's able to know where the people he are he's at teleports is because... Where he teleports is at is because is not only is he able... Because, again, he's able to do it like singularly, or he does with the uh, nifty, he, and also he's a like Husker, because like he, okay. with Husker, he knew that he's like he would know he's at a gambling hall. He know was that it's like you know pretty swanky, you know pretty funky place, and I don't know why the hell I just said funky, uh, but he knows like. Uh, and he knows like the layout, and he was able to change it to where it would fit with the hotel. That's that's partly that's like the reason why because he's not only okay. he knows why does why does 
any of that correlate to him knowing I'm going to be behind him? It's like, yeah, he knew the building, but how is that not just because he was just, like, looking around? Like, I, I don't know why any of that correlates to him knowing. Because the thing is, he brought that stuff there from Husker being teleported. That's why. Okay, he, he, I... he can teleport other people, that's fine, but why does that prove he can, like, know because he... that I'm behind him? Because with being able to know that he can teleport you, he also knew not only the area of where Husker was at, he also was able to discern that, okay, he hey, this is a pretty nice place, let me he like merge it into the hotel, make it look nice. It's, as you can see, with like, okay, I'd have to, sh to get the actual. Yeah, because like, why does him episode? changing his surroundings this know that I'm going to be behind him? Because like, because he changed the really. surroundings to the stuff that Husker was at. That was why. And meaning wait, that so he knows the stuff that like, wait, wait, he changed the surroundings to what? Mm -hmm. Like the stuff that the building where Husker was at, like he changed. Okay, that's cool if he can like, change his could... surroundings, but that doesn't answer my question. Maybe you're not understanding why I'm saying this specifically, but like I'm saying that because if he is able to tell what Husker's surroundings are, and he's able to deduce that, hey, these surroundings are pretty nice for my new hotel project thing that I'm working on to, you know, see people try to better themselves and fail. So, why don't I bring this stuff with me, along with Husker being teleported, and make it to where the hotel and shift it into the hotel so that it, it makes the hotel look better. That is what I'm saying. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Yes, um, this has been going on for uh, this debate has been going on for two hours, so you guys just want to leave this point to the judges and just conclude. Okay, okay. hold on. Um, okay, so no. <laughs> what were you saying? I didn't. I, I forgot what you said. Sorry. Okay, so so with this point, and we can leave this one up to the judges if you want, because this one's kind of going in circles. But I'm get, but to reiterate, it, like, like Al not only teleported Husker, but he teleported the things around him and specifically shifted it to the way he, to make the hotel look nice because he knew where he, because he knew where Husker was at and he knew the aesthetic of the place so he he's brought not only Husker but the stuff around him. And the reason why I brought up the nifty scene before is because he could have just teleported Husker himself but no, he teleported Husker okay. and the rest of the stuff around him. And why? Okay, yeah, he can change his surroundings, but why would that not just be because okay, he's like seeing the surroundings? All right, you're clearly just not getting it, so we're just gonna leave that point up to the judges because I've said this like seven times. All right, whatever. So, you wanna do you want? <sighs> yeah, because you know. This debate okay, sure. So sure, I guess I'll go first. So, go ahead. Um, I thought I won because uh, you first tried to argue. Hold on, let me go to the freaking... Um, uh, okay. Scrolled too far up. Okay. So, I thought I won uh, because you... What did you try to argue for the first one? Uh, I can't even freaking remember. First point um, was... Shadow creatures. Go oh yeah, you you, you argued you were gonna like portal. summon uh, these creatures. I argued that I was gonna teleport behind you and stab you with the first blade. You granted me that my teleportation was instant and that I had like three layers of soul negging, which um you uh, never countered. Um, so like I would just I would I argued that I would have just teleported behind you and just stabbed you with the first blade. Um, and then, uh, you tried, uh, to, like, argue your own, like, uh, teleportation, um, but, like, I questioned whether, if it was, like, instant or not, um, 
So, like, I thought I, like, took that point. Uh, and then um, you tried to argue you were going to, like, BFR my blade, like, teleport it away. But you couldn't quantify, like, um, you would, how, like, how far you would be able to BFR it. So I just argued that, like, it would pretty much just be right there. And I'd, like, telekinetically bring it back to me. And then you tried to, like, argue the whole focus point, but I argued that, like, Kane would be, like, way stronger than Dean, so he would just bring it back to him, which I'm pretty sure you granted. Um, uh, what else? Argued reality. Um, and then you tried, oh yeah, uh, you also argued death hacks, um, you accepted my counter to that with Dean having pretty much, like, conceptual type 5 and a immortality. Um, what else? Uh, you also argued the whole reality warping thing. I questioned whether if it was even like combat applicable or not, and like I countered uh, by saying no. that you didn't say that you didn't ask if it was count combat applicable or not. And even if you did, that it's out of character, so it wouldn't matter if. It Wait, was hold. I never. Okay, hold on. I never made the in character argument. You can have something. But still not be combat applicable. But anyway, Wait, hold I on. question. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Alistair, are you, are you interrupting because you think Slick is saying something you didn't say in the debate? Yes. Okay, just okay, okay, just oh, just, just say just say just say it right. Okay, since you already said it, um, just let Slick continue this point. Okay, whatever. All, All right. right. So, and then, like, uh, because besides, I'll be asking for clarification later. Okay. 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 So yeah, he pretty much argued some like reality warping. I questioned if it was like reality warping or not and then like um he did this like via lightning so i just argued that like i'd be able to react to the lightning teleport behind him and then you know like stab him with the first blade and then um he tried to argue like his like he would know that i'm like behind him but i questioned it by saying like oh like um how what do you know if I'm, like, behind him? Like, yeah, he can, like, change his surroundings, but why would that not be just because he's, like, seeing the stuff around him? So, yeah, that's my conclusion. I thought I won with, like, mid-diff, I'd say. All right, well, it's on to my conclusion. So, so at first I argued shadow creatures and you know portal to hentai monster combo he argued teleportation and then he'd stab me with the first blade i tried to argue that my own shadow would be able to like uh i argue that my own shadow would be able to react to it and then and, like attack him but he <laughs> but with that he argued that my statue couldn't like like Al would have to do a motion specifically in order to bring the shadow out into reality so that it part was counted um then I brought up teleport I brought up teleportation and he he argued that uh, with the teleportation that it's that his teleportation is you know instant or whatever. I ar I argued teleportation into death hacks, and he and he provided type five and eight immortality, which was granted. So I just argued my own. Okay, I I argued that I just teleport the blade away, so he couldn't kill me. He he argued that he would telekinetically bring the blade back, and and that since I wouldn't be able to, you know, quantify a, the distance, like. It would just be at a range to where he could bring it back. I argue uh, matter manip lightning. Well, at first I said it was reality warping, but we just changed it to matter manip. And uh, 
he, he argues since it's via lightning that it would that he'd be able to dodge it. And I argue and then by the end we just kind of and we got to teleportation and fear hacks, but I wasn't able to get my fear hacks out because we spent this the last part of this on the point of knowing of if Al can know his surroundings, which I think I won because I it was able to specify that that if Al was able to that if Al couldn't know the person's surroundings, then he would have just teleported Husker by himself, which he was able to do with Nifty, but he didn't. He specifically chose to teleport Husker and the stuff around him because, as you know, he thought, all right, it'd be a swanky little look for the hotel, and he brought it with him. And so I think that I won with mid-high to high diff. Alright, now judges. Um Okay. So hmm. First idea. of all first first of all I'd like to point out uh it's a good debate. I thought Alistair thought Alistair did a lot better than he did last time. I thought I thought he did pretty well. Um for my judges for my for my judgment I'm gonna start at the top. So like um So one of the first points was the like the 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 tentacle thingies. Um, Alistair was arguing like them more distraction methods. So like, it's so, like I don't know if that point. I don't think that's point. I don't think that point's too important. Um, Slick Slick's main win con. Um, his main win con was only win con. But I remember his main win con was the blade, and so he was arguing. That the blade is above like um angel and demon blades, therefore, and these demon demon in these blades can basically neg your soul and, and whatnot. So basically, this blade is like uh, at, least, at least three layers of soul destroying type shit. Um, I'll questioned it, a uh, questioned it like a little bit, but he ultimately like got that across that yes. It's do it's doing it's doing like such and such. Um it got on this weird point of this like teleportation. Um so I'm gonna like it's just so I could clarify, right? So Alistair, you were arguing that that like um that you like you like that you'd basically like know where that you like teleport behind Kane or that you like know like where Kane is because 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 of his own teleportation, is that what you're assuming you were arguing? I just want to clarify. All right. So, at that point of the debate, I was arguing that Alistair would know what Air Kane is, and he would teleport him into the you know Shmentai Monster Portal. Mm -hmm. And when that, and we, and when we left off of that, he, that we. I just argued my own teleportation, and I argue, dude. Uh, so, like, did yeah, you like um? So, so just to clarify. So, like, so you stopped arguing that point, and you argued mainly your own teleportation. Because, like, when I was listening, that's what like it seemed like. Like, yeah, I stopped arguing the point not because I just, not because he wouldn't know where he was at. I stopped arguing it because Slick just argued that he would teleport like himself anyway. So, mm. so you argued that so basically y'all both have like teleportation. Um, I remember you. I remember like Alistair arguing that like he would teleport behind him, mm -hmm. and um, and like Slick was saying that like was saying like it doesn't doesn't really matter if if he can teleport behind him, he'll still just turn around and stab him with his blade. Now, to now to, for this overall thing. Um, from what I can remember, Alistair didn't have a direct counter for tanking the soul thing, so if he gets stabbed with it, he's pretty much done, uh, from what I remember correctly. Um, so, I remember Alistair arguing death hacks, um, 
Alistair, not Alistair, Slick tried, Slick tried to, like, push his point a bit, but he eventually just, like, dropped it and argued, like, his own resistance to death hacks, which he, which, which, which he basically, uh, did prove. Um, there is this point about the teleportation speed, where, like, um, where, like, Slick said that his teleportation was instant, uh, this was when there was not really much refutation from Alistair. Alistair, he said, he has this, like, he never really said how fast his was. He just said like it was quick. Um, slick was slick was on about like the teleportation speed, and then like a lot, but like lasting like a while. But I think like slick successfully showed that his teleportation is a, is a, is fast too. Um, I do think slick's teleportation is better because because of like um, it's like he did like say it was instant. I don't remember like any much like refutations for it from like um Malister about that particular part. Slick also argued Slick also argued type eight immortality. Um Alistair admitted that he didn't really have like have any counters for that. Um there was this one point at the last uh, at the last part when they was arguing about like um about about like trying like, he's trying to like debunk Alistair's teleportation with the with the husky thing, um, this this point was this point was interesting. Like, it was a really interesting point. Um, I kind of I kind of do kind of I kind of do agree with Alistair on this point, because like slick what he, slick was I think slick was saying some good stuff, but it's like I kind of was more so agreeing with. I was more so like agreeing with Alistair on this point. Um, Alistair's Alistair's an interesting point Alistair made is when he argued that he would teleport his not his, not like Kane himself, but he said he'd teleport the weapon out of his hand. Um, they they went back and forth on this. I think I think Slick took this point and Slick Slick basically like admitted to this point as well that his weapon would be taken out. But he but he count but I think he countered this by art by simply arguing. That like he tried to argue, so we argued that okay. So how far is will it will teleport? They went on this point for a minute. I think Slick successfully argued that he would be able to like reclaim it, like whether or not because like if it was from such and such distance, he'd be able to see it, or if it's not, he he would like telekinetically get it back to his hand by the market cane. So overall, um. I would say that Slick won this debate because, like, because, because, like, not only because not only did like he refute like all of like Alistair's offensive win cons. Alistair, he doesn't not one he doesn't one he doesn't have a direct wi- direct way to counter like um um Slick's, Slick's main win con, and Alistair has no way of killing him as well because because of like that Type Eight that he argued, and even though he was arguing some good points like that teleportation point. Like I thought that was a really, really, really smart point. Um, like once Slick, uh, Slick also ar- argued the telekinesis, so I will have to give it to him. Um, for the diff, hmm, I think it's, I think it's, I think at the very least it's mid difficulty, very least. Um, Slick was Alistair impressed me. He was like putting. He was like, he was like pushing a lot, like pushing way more than way more than I thought he was pushing, and he was pushing on the correct points that he was to put that he was to push at. So he was he even got a little pissed at one, at the, in the teleportation part. That was funny, uh. but like um, I think, I think I think like, I think this point is like um, I think this like mid difficulty to potentially high mid high mid difficulty like maybe like whatever whatever a midish midish diff is i would say it is but like, i think there's the potential to be like a high mid difficulty like i do like i like i do think i do think alistair did well i think he impressed me a lot so like yeah that's that's one of that's my judgment i i'll go next um yeah so referring back to what debate was saying the teleportation points were a bit wonky there was some i think there were some like things kind of just left on the table um but overall i do agree with what with a lot of uh 
of what the beta said. Um, you know, like the plant, like the death hacks thing. Like, yeah, you you gave a counter, you had resistance to that, but like, um, I I did see like you tried to refute, you know, against it. Like, oh, you know, he's just trying to kill a plant, and then out, like, Alistair, this was a smart one on you. Yeah, you get you gave a fair point that yeah, you know, it, plant life is practically the same as humans because like you know, nourishment and stuff. You did really well on that. Um, some good red, uh, some good uh, you know, rhetoric on both ends. And some argumentation. Uh, the lightning part, I do agree with Al he, um, on 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 the thing. Like because, uh, sorry, not Al. Uh, I do agree with Slick. It does look more like matter manipulation than anything. But I do say this that um, you didn't say like oh, you didn't say like the whole oh like it looks like more of like a uh, combat apl- applicable thing scenario. You mainly just questioned him on like the. Uh, uh, the thing not really being reality warping more than anything. Um, just, just point that out, just in case, because it is on recording. Because uh, Al didn't, no, sorry, not Al. You didn't say, uh, you didn't like question him on that part for the lightning. Like, you know, oh, is it is it being used for more like combat uh, applicable or like you know? But yeah. Um, that was counted anyway because you had the teleportation, so the lightning wouldn't, the lightning wouldn't tag you anyway. So you'd still get like the blade off anyway. And yeah, Al didn't give any like resistances or anything against the blade. So ultimately, you just like him. So yeah, I do, I do agree. Uh, Slick does take victory regardless. But yeah, there was definitely a lot of resistances on both ends. Yeah, I'd say like at least. Mid diff higher, but yeah, that's my judgment. All right. So for me, um, overall, I pretty much agree with a lot of what was said. So really don't really don't have much to add on. Uh, my diff, uh, I do agree. Slick probably won, or yeah, he won. But my diff would probably be like mid diff. Yeah, definitely a mid diff for sure. <laughs> 